Woo! I'm on the way to a CT scan. Ooh. Okay, so I gotta talk this out because I gotta figure this out. Woo! Man. Uh, so, um, okay. So, Gabby found this really cool uh, Reddit thread, and it was about this guy that, um, uh, same disease as myself. Uh, same progression, same everything, and he ended up going through uh, five surgeries and I think it was 40 rounds of chemo. See, that's what's happening. 40 rounds of chemo, <laughs> and he came out the other side and he's cancer-free, right? But, oh my God, just whew, thinking, you, thinking it, saying that loud, 40 rounds of chemo, oh my God, my, <laughs> I think I'm going to throw up. My body is going... Go fuck yourself. Oh, whew. so in going for the CT scan, the reason I gotta talk this out is oh, when your body goes through all the trauma that my body has been through this past year, it has a mind of its own. And so, like for example, uh, when I have gone through, I have had a CT scan every two months for the past year, um, past year and a half. And uh, so I'm not anxious about the procedure. I'm not anxious about the CT scan. I have some awesome folks uh, work in the CT scan department. I have great conversations. It's, uh, they keep me super chill. It's not any of that. It's just my body trauma is so first and foremost. And I'm laughing because I shit you not. The first time after my last surgery, so I'd had like six surgeries, procedures, I... Uh, went in for my CT scan two months after. Now, mind you, I'm I'm like cut open from here to here healing, right? And so I could barely sit up. I could barely get on the table. It was it was gross. But that wasn't the gross part. The gross part was is when I was in the hospital for uh, my um, uh, liver surgery, uh, my liver was failing and they were trying to uh, make it function and stuff. And so they kept giving me this medicine and this medicine is traditionally used for CT scans uh, to give you contrast. And But they were using it in order to initiate my bowels because it used for something else. Well, I would drink it and then I would throw it up. So what happens the first time I walk into the CT scan uh, <laughs> my body remembers the trauma of drinking this medicine and retching uh, in this process for three days as my liver's failing and all this stuff. I barely remember this, but boy, my body remembers because I walk in for that CT scan <laughs> and the poor guy comes walking out with the barium for me to drink and I just start projectile vomiting. <laughs> That's it. I'm like, holy fuck, I'm so sorry. Right? I, yeah. I was like, and uh, so that happened, and then the next time I went for a CT scan, they, I uh, really thought it was a one-time thing. Uh, this time, I only started dry heaving. Uh, so the next time, uh, my <laughs> CT scan guy came out and said, hey, how are you feeling today? <laughs> and that's how we proceed, uh, and that's how we go forward now. Um, so, whew, so go full circle, and... Uh, that story, my body automatically reacting to the idea of 40 rounds of chemo like that is, is pretty intense. And it was just uh, making me think like, oh, it's kind of like my body, the way it reacts to CT scans. And I got thinking about that. And I'm like, why am I thinking about that? I'm going for a CT scan. <laughs> okay. So, shitting rainbows, shitting rainbows, unicorns and glitter. <laughs> oh, we can do this. Unicorns and glitter. Ah!